everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I made these albino elf ears. So let's get to it. First, I'm getting my hair out of the way so I can place a sticky note behind my ear. The sticky part will stick onto the skin so I can hold it as I'm tracing the shape of the ear I want. And on a side note, the color of the sticky note is irrelevant. I'm also marking the thickness of my ear. Not really sure what you call this other than cartilage. So I'm cutting out everything on my sketch. And with the mark of the ear thickness, I'm going to measure it out underneath of the dashed lines of the ear shape. And then I'm going to draw out the design of my ear. It only needs about three lines to sketch it out. It doesn't have to be very complicated, just simple. To get symmetrical ears, I'm just going to stick the ready-made sketch onto a new sticky note. I'm placing the sketch into the sticky side so it can hold it in place as I cut it out. And I'm going to try to match the sketch of the first ear. Depressor to scoop it out and I'm going to warm it up with my hands as I roll it into a stick or a noodle um, long enough to outline the shape of the sketched out ears and it's best to have a couple noodles already made so you can make this process easier and faster and you can get right into sculpting Try to make sure that the thickness of the noodles are all the same. With a ballpoint tool, I gently press down all the edges of the wax inside and out while holding the entire ear so it doesn't move. And just smooth it out with my fingers every once in a while where I feel like it needs to. This process was so hard because we had the heater in the house and it made the wax so sticky, but it's good so that I can take away all the excess. My voice sounds a little off, at least for me. I don't know if you guys can notice, but I am like currently sick. I've been getting sick since my last video. I think I mentioned it, but yeah. So if my voice changes a lot, um, it's because I'm recording in between coughing, sneezing, and all that good stuff. With the silicone pointy tool, I try to smooth out all of the wax and give back the cartilage shape. I'm mostly just dragging the tool as if it were a pencil and carving out the shape back into the wax. I'm dragging the tool upward, but mostly downward just so that I can get rid of the excess. And in some parts, like on the edge, I would roll the tool rather than drag it just so that I could get rid of the extra wax. the edge just so that I could keep the shape of the ear. And then I'll go back in and carve out any places where I feel like it got lost for the cartilage. And again just go back in with my fingers every now and then where I feel like it needs it just so that I can get rid of harsh lines or dents. the harder it is to sculpt out. I clean up the X 
excess on the edges around the ear for a clean surface by using a ballpoint tool. And then I go in with a flat headed tool to carve out more of the cartilage just for some dimension. This helps get rid of any bumpiness from the ballpoint tool and to give it a more flat surface. In this step, you can use three different things, KY Jelly, which is also known as lube, spirit gum remover, or something oily like mineral oil or baby oil. I'm just using KY Jelly and rubbing it all over the wax. This is going to help it not stick to my tool or my hands, and it also makes it a lot easier to glide for final detailing. The reason I didn't use this earlier was so that I could give the ear more of the shape that I wanted and get rid of the excess just before the touch-ups. With a small brush, I'm spraying some witch hazel to help further smooth out some of the wax and clean up the ear. This step is optional, but I do recommend it only because witch hazel melts the wax a little bit to get an even surface. And with a q-tip, I'm just cleaning up and flattening the edge. This step is optional, but I'm tapping a black stipple sponge over for skin texture and just going over with my finger so that it doesn't look like just crumbs and holes. Here I'm just cutting up one of my latex sponges into three triangles because they are so huge. And I'm going to be using Marinol's liquid latex and pouring it into this deli cup. With one of the latex sponges I just cut up, I'm going to put on a thin layer all over the wax. You're going to need a total of three to four layers uh, before you can move on. And to speed up the drying process, I'm going to use my hair dryer with a cool setting so that it doesn't melt the wax. If you don't have a blow dryer with a cool setting, the warm setting is fine as long as you don't keep it on there for too long or too close to your wax. Or otherwise, it's going to melt it and all your hard work is going to be ruined. If you don't have a hair dryer, just wait for each layer to dry up. Another thing to know is that you can get latex around the ear. It doesn't really matter. It's going to help you in the next step. So right now I'm taking some baby powder and pouring it into this empty uh, powder container for Maybelline. With a powder brush, I'm going to powder the entire latex. powder brush I'm going to lift up the corners and powder as I'm going in. With the spatula underneath I dig under the edge and start to lift and roll it outward all the way around until the ear is released. because you're going to take a q-tip and apply some latex on the edge of the sticky note. And I'm going to start sticking the flaps onto the fresh latex, starting from the curvy side and then everywhere else. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. Now that everything is stuck down, I'm going to powder the edges. Since I don't have any PAX paint, I'm going to make my own by mixing some acrylic and prosape. I stipple it on with a latex sponge all over the entire ear, except for the edge of this area, so that I am able to blend it into my skin during the application. Also, I wish I could have added more latex for a longer flap, that way the application would have looked a lot more seamless. It just would have been a lot easier to trim excess latex than to try to stretch it out. If you want to reuse the ears, you just have to put two new layers of latex in this area as well. 
When you finish paxing one side, I recommend powdering it before painting the opposite side, that way the paint won't lift. This is messy, so you might want to put some paper underneath before you start painting. And if you have gloves, I would recommend that too. I don't really mind my fingers getting dirty. With the back of the brush handle, I'm just shaping back the edges so that the cartilage doesn't look like it's so flattened out. And you're done! Thanks for watching this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you found this tutorial interesting or helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for weekly Tuesday night uploads. Follow me on all my social media at Marble Flush. I have all the materials listed in the tutorial description box below, alongside with some links of where you can purchase these items if you don't have them. Thank you, and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!